Hi, we're Vile. I'm Katie. I'm KT. And I'm Taylor. This is our beautiful tour van, the Trout. As um. you can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we named it before we actually bought it, and we bought it for $900 off of Facebook Marketplace because it was completely non-functional. And we thought it just had this awful, nasty brown color with like the rust spots on the side. And I said that kind of looks like a nasty trout, like a nasty river trout. Um, just because of the color and the spots, and so it affectionately got the name the trout. And over time, it's earned its name through its smell. Uh, as soon as we named it, we were like, shit, now we gotta buy it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so right now, we're touring uh, down south and up east. So we're gonna be going all the way down to Atlanta, then up through New York, and then back home to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our first like big headlining tour too, so we're yeah. very nervous, but very excited. Yeah. Welcome to the, the captain's lounge. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so this is the front seat. Um, uh, we all kind of switch off driving uh, pretty, pretty evenly. Mm -hmm. um, and for like, rules for up here it's just like don't text and drive don't drink and drive that's a no no don't do that yeah um and like with the trout it is a bumpy ride <laughs> it is a scary ride sometimes mm -hmm. so i like i don't like to go more than like 70 miles per hour in this um that's kind of my rule for myself i know that other people feel more comfortable with it so yeah yeah i'd say be a very like actively um a very active participant in your driving so like always so like i was driving in pennsylvania last year and like smelled the smallest tinge of smoke turns out there was smoke billowing out of the nose mm -hmm. so just like very closely paying attention to is the car roaring at you um it roars she roars oh, baby it roars mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Um, and also like take, checking in with yourself and being like, have I driven for more than two hours? If so, do I need a snack? Do I need a drink? Do I need to switch out? And we were all pretty good at checking in with ourselves, checking in with each other, making sure that, you know, safety is first. Yeah. So a lot of the time it's silent actually. And we all kind of put in our own earbuds and listen to our own stuff. But we have this, it's a very old car. It does not have a CD player, does not have even a tape player or anything. So we got this fancy uh, Bluetooth uh, plug-in plug car charger thing that we can connect our phones to if we want to play albums or any sort of music or podcasts or anything. But for me, I typically play music mm -hmm. when I'm driving. So far, I played a lot of Hers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of 100 Gex. Yeah. yeah. There's an artist from Minneapolis called Girl Stomp that played the other day and I like screeched and I was like, turn it up! <laughs> so good. I listen to podcasts a lot of the time. I listen to this one Greek mythology podcast and that's pretty fun. Yeah. So um, last year when we were driving in the summer, our AC totally went out on us. So we bought all of these little portable fans and they're super cute and they have legs which are kind of creepy but whatever. And it kind of just sticks on there and you can just turn it on. Not. And it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> There's no AC in the back. Oh. So those typically will go to like the back seat people. And then if the AC is like not running, then the front people will just like roll the windows down. Yeah. Um, we have a beautiful trash can, uh, floral, <laughs> <laughs> with a Target bag as the, as the bag inside. We've got, uh, a cat bag that holds like all of our snacks and everything. Oh, oh it's, <laughs> it's very sad right now. Um, we These have, are all from last year too. <laughs> we have a jar of peanut butter, which um, I have a peanut allergy, so this is I think is the funniest one. Um, oh my god, it has oil on it. No, it's only if I eat it. I swear. All right, and then we have about seven Belvitas. <laughs> we need a restock. So yeah, we really need a restock. Ew, it's it's like juicing. Then, we gotta throw that away. The other stuff we got here is all car stuff. We got oil, we got coolant, we got power steering, we got brake fluid, we got a jump starter, we, we got, got uh, uh, 
code reader. Code reader. Because here's the deal. Trouty is a very thirsty girl. <laughs> and she's always needing something. She always needs a sip of something. <laughs> and she likes to leak brake fluid. Mm -hmm. So she's always needing a little sippy sip of a brake fluid. Mm -hmm. uh, we gotta always check the coolant. We always gotta check. We just did an oil change. Like, right before we right left. Right before we left. Mm -hmm. And it made us an hour late to load in yesterday. Hey. But, you know, gotta be safe. Say love, V. Mm -hmm. Got a toolkit down here. Cause again, um, you never know. You yeah. never know. Yeah. You never know with Trouty. Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Are we all hopping in? Here she is. So we've got our back oh, seats rest. here. There you go, baby. Welcome to the back seat. This is where the magic happens. So <laughs> when we <laughs> when we first bought this van. It did not have a back seat. It was fully a cargo van. Uh, and so KT went to the U-Pole and got this back seat from a different Chevy Astro. And then we had our friend Sam weld it in place <laughs> for us. And he did a great job. As well as the seat belts. As well as the seat belts. It did not have seat belts. <laughs> it was also very empty. So we needed to insulate it somehow and we chose sheep wool and it's everywhere, everywhere. and it smells like a barn mm -hmm. so that's pretty special mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. we've got these uh, back seat organizers got plates scissors a pen um, what what is that Lysol wipes disinfecting Ooh. stuff masks tape a bungee cord Medicine. Pepsid, sponsored by Pepsid. <laughs> we got first aid kit, the uh, manual for the car, straws, I think. Yeah. yeah. And then silverware for eating. Yes. And Pepto Bismol. We are very prepared. Yes. Yes. Um, and then the those things. Oh yeah, we got some under seat organizer guys. I wonder what's in there. Another fan and some emergency equipment and nothing. <laughs> we also have one of those things filled with completely just first aid. So in case I have been um, maimed by Trouty yes. in the past, um, yes. some of the rust just cut straight up my shin. So uh, these first aid items have come in handy in preventing, uh, yeah, uh, potential leg amputation. So yes, yeah, got more tape. And string lights, which we never put up in here, but we were going to. Oh, that would have been fun. Yeah. Oh, wow. It gets really dark in here at night. It does. Really mm -hmm. dark. Yeah. Especially because there's like this plywood on here that came with it. Um, but KT painted it like a fun green lava lamp kind of a design. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it is gorgeous and beautiful. And it gives a little bit of vibes back here yeah. where it desperately needed some. Another special thing is Trouty's filled with holes. And we, <laughs> fill, we filled most of them with epoxy. putty, epoxy, yeah. yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, there's a little bit of a hole. When you close the door fully, there's a little bit of a hole right there. And we call it the trout hole. Uh, and Kitty has a story about that. Uh, yeah, so last year on one of our tours, I was sitting right where Katie's sitting, just vibing, chilling, hanging out. Um, and I, I vape, unfortunately. And all of a sudden, I hear a gudunk. <laughs> and I go, oh no, what was that? I'm looking around, looking around, and I want to hit my vape as well. So I'm looking around for my vape and looking to see like what made that sound. And couldn't find my vape anywhere. Turns out it fell out of the trout hole on I-80, um, like straight onto the freeway, and I, I yeah, that's where the trout hole thing comes from. Sometimes yeah. Trouty gets hungry as well as thirsty, <laughs> so she needs a little bit of a vape to keep her going. A little bit. <laughs> a little the whole bit of thing. a vape. Yeah. Oh, God. So, back here we have our hitch, which is where we keep all of our like merch boxes and everything. And this opens and it's waterproof. And we, yeah, that's that. Oh, here's our, our bumper oh, stickers. Oh, yeah. One over here. Yes. We got them from a bookstore in Chicago called Quimby's. 
it's and they're really super nice. cool. It's in Wicker Park, I think. You should go there and buy all their books. And here we go. Here's how you open the trout. Here we go. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and here's the back. The roof is in mint condition. <laughs> There's our box of waffle crisps back there, um, as Couple, well as yeah. many gallons of coolant. Yep. Yes. <laughs> and a full jug of water because sometimes you get thirsty on the freeway and you don't have time to pull over. So you just fill yourself up with your trusty gallon of water in your back seat. Um, so this is homemade carpet. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, that we put down with duct tape. <laughs> um, it works great. You know, I have no complaints yeah. personally. This used to run along right here, and then it fell off. Yep. So there it is. So there it is. <laughs> We've got that rolly thing for any um, equipment that is like too heavy, and it, it perfectly matches the trout because it's just as rusty and just as gross. <laughs> and also from Facebook Marketplace. Mm -hmm. Hey! Uh, check this out. This bumper <laughs> is almost completely rusted off. We bought a new bumper for it, but it unfortunately didn't fit by about a few inches. Yeah. So we're stuck with this shitty old thing. Yeah. Yeah. You can put a little bit of weight on it, I've learned, if you're real, if you really like don't mind what happens to your body afterwards, yeah. I think oh, you can take a risk for the biscuit. <laughs> put a little bit of weight on risk that boy. Risk it for the waffle crisp bit. Hey! <laughs> also sponsored. <laughs> So that's our... There's the wires. Beautiful. I think there used to be a light or something. Yeah. We don't know that, what it's for. This was connected to this light in here, which does not work. Um, for a while, we had these little, like, touch, They're touch to there, start. They're on there, it doesn't work anymore either. Yeah, these touch to start lights, but they're out of battery or whatever. So, yeah. Rest in peace. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely filled to the brim. Especially this tour, because we had to bring a drum kit with us, and we did not have to do that previously. Uh, and Taylor's typically the Tetris person. Yeah, I just, I see a vision, and we have to go for it. But my vision failed us the other day because we put our amps on one side, and the trout was absolutely screeching and trying to turn left the whole time, so... We learned our lesson there, but um, yeah, it gets filled all the way to the top. There's absolutely no visibility out these back windows once There's everything's like in there. There's like a few inches of visibility, Yeah, but that's it. Yeah, um, but um, yeah, I um, threw out my back last year doing the Tetris thing, so, um, but I'm back at it. No pun intended. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, for checking out our Trouty. <laughs> We're vile. And you can find us on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, anything but Amazon Music. Woohoo! Woo! And that's V I A L, like the small like scientific instrument. Like a test tube. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're releasing new music pretty soon here, so you should follow us on all of the social media. Uh, usually at Vile Band for everything and at Vile Band Official on Instagram.